David. Welcome to DigitalLanding.com, where we try to help you live your connected life simplified. Today we're going to talk about the differences between a modem and a router. It's easy to understand why so many people get confused by them. They both do similar things, but differently. Each piece of hardware looks similar. They both have similar flashing lights on the front. They have similar connections in the back. So we're going to try to help sort out what does what. The modem, like the post office, brings information in from all over the world or a wide area network. And then the router, like the mailman, it takes that information from the modem and it distributes it out to multiple destinations locally or a local area network. So now let's take a closer look at the modem. A modem is a device that modulates an analog carrier signal to encode and then decode digital information. Easy, right? Okay, really, basically your modem connects your house to the internet. By that I mean that your modem connects your cable outlet, which connects to your house, to the World Wide Web. It converts signals from outside your house into signals that can be read by a computer. A modem has several connections on the back. First, there's a power cord connection that connects to your wall. Second, a coaxial cable connection for cable modems or a DSL port for DSL modems like this one. And then finally, an ethernet connection that goes out to your router. So now the modem connects to the router and then it splits that internet connection to multiple computers. Now router is also known as a switch. So let's take a look at the back of the router. There's a power cord connection, obviously for the power to the wall, a port connection for the ethernet wire that connects to your modem, and several ports to your computers if you choose not to use the wireless option. Okay, so let's recap what a router actually does. There's three things. One, it connects your modem to your computers and to the internet. Two, it connects your printers to your computers, making a home network. And then three, a router gives you better protection against viruses and hackers. So now you know the difference between a modem and a router. So if you have any more questions, look us up, digitallanding.com, where we try to help you live the connected life simplified.